The Georgetown Hoyas hosting the Little Rock Trojans. Happy holidays, everybody. Alongside Tyreek Turner, I'm John Fanta. These two teams looking for momentum as conference play inches closer, and they both have a youth movement going on. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of young guys coming out. Seven freshmen between both teams. Pippins. I would foul. With two. Pippins for the tie. everybody, he's Dave Popkin, I'm John Fanta, and welcome to Jack Kaiser Stadium. Major implications are at stake. Seton Hall knows that it's heading to its ninth straight Big East tournament. Dave, St. John's has work to do. It's in question. Playing the Big East. That 1-1 one -one is drilled. Shedler McAvoy watching it fly over the wall. David Vilches gives Creighton a spark. Winner of this one meets Marquette tomorrow. He was rejected by Anamaco. Five on three. Anamaco. Yes. Big East Women's Basketball Sunday on FS2 welcomes you from the Queen City as Xavier tries to make a home statement taking on the DePaul Blue Demons. Hi, everybody. Alongside Monica McNutt, I'm John Fanta. The DePaul Blue Demons have always played a high-powered offensive style under Doug Bruno, and this year they're at the top of the country in three-point shooting. The game reset. Little Rock up by two. Less than seven to go. Foul trouble for both teams. Eight of ten from the field. What an efficient afternoon for the freshman. Well, what I like about him is he's not a one-dimensional postman. Melendez bounces one to third. Coffee out. What a oh play! Oh my goodness! Oh my! That was incredible. It's forced a turnover. It's Teebling. CJ Teebling with a bullet, and the Pirates strike first! Ten seconds left. Wilborn. No. Heidemann, yes, to close the quarter. They're trying to find Sernak. Here comes Nemanja Sernak. He's been the star. Sernak lays it off with one to go for the win. Europe and Middle East is going to the semifinals on a game winner from Amaya Sorobo. Coach Wright, a three-peat for the Villanova Wildcats. What made this team a champion? Two seniors. <laughs> Eric Pascal and, and Phil Booth were, uh, they were like coaches. You said at the start of the week, you wanted to learn more about what your team was capable of this week. What did you learn about this team in their title run? You know, all, all these experiences, win or lose, help you grow as a team, you know, if, if, you, if you take responsibility and learn from them. This Hoyas team was picked seventh in the preseason poll. Their freshmen going up it game by game. And that's really the key, Patrick Ewing says, is just how much they'll grow in season. Absolutely. And when we talked to Pat, he talked about understanding that he has to be patient. Ten on the timer. I'd like to see Creighton cut a little bit harder. Jays are stuck. Elger! Big time triple! Wow. Wow. Olivia Elger, why not me? Grace, great defense by Allie Green. Allie Green is making the most of every moment she's on this floor. His recruitment is a fascinating story. As he just got to that milestone, out of Millbrook High School. He was a three-star recruit, but the major recruiting sites barely had any information on him. And Coach Kevin McGeehan watched him in 2014, and all he needed to see was five minutes of action yeah. to text his staff this is my guy this is my guy we have to do what we can to get Chris Clemens and Clemens committed to the camels early 